KBGA Missoula, you are listening to Missing Zhongguo. Today is July the 17th, and uh, we have uh, quite a bit of uh, birthday musicians. And uh, our theme is the 65th element in the periodical table, which is terbium. And uh, interestingly enough, in Chinese, te and tebie means a special. So actually all the songs I have, uh, other than the birthday musician's songs, have 特别 special in their names. So any movies that you can think about, Mr. C? Well, if you say special and you're talking about movies, it makes me think of movies that, for whatever reason, had a profound cultural impact. And in the 21st century, unfortunately, we haven't had many movies that had a profound cultural impact, mostly because there's too much to choose from. So because of streaming services and whatnot, there's just thousands and thousands of movies that people can choose from. So we don't have any kind of unifying experiences as a culture anymore with movies. With the exception, a few years ago, the Joker movie, it brought the culture together in a strange way. The people who understood what the movie was critiquing loved it, and the people who recognized whether or not they wanted to admit it that they were being critiqued hated it. But I think that's a special movie because of that. The last time there was a special movie, there was actually two special movies in 1994, which also kind of divided the population. One was Pulp Fiction and the other was Forrest Gump. Mm. But interestingly enough, in the early 80s, following the 70s, in the 70s, there were a few special movies. Um, the Exorcist, The Godfather, Jaws, Star Wars, these were all movies that everybody in the culture went to see. Didn't matter what your immutable characteristics were. Everyone went to see them. Everyone talked about them. It was a, a single point. Each movie represented a single point of commonality within the entire American culture. And it's very interesting that in the early 1980s, because of Jaws and Star Wars, there was a blockbuster mentality in Hollywood. And for the first few years of the 1980s, every summer there was one movie that was very special. 81, it was Raiders of the Lost Ark. 82, I think it was E.T., even though I don't like that movie. Uh, 83, I can't remember, but 84 had Ghostbusters. Everybody talked about Ghostbusters. 85 had Back to the Future. Everybody talked about that. It's because there wasn't as much product to choose from. So some people might say that there's, uh, it's better to have more products because then you were all into the identity thing. So you might find something that speaks more to you because of your immutable characteristics. But I would say it's better to have a movie that everybody talks about. So it's, it's a kind of a catch-22. But that, to me, that is what I think of when you say special movies. I think of movies that kind of unite the culture, something we really desperately need in the United States today. Mm. So you think those movies that uh, divide people are not good ones? Are not uh, it, special? Well, I just said, I said Joker was special mm -hmm. because it, Joker really emphasized what's going on in the culture right now. So right now in the culture, you have a kind of an elitist class that thinks they know what's best for everybody. And they, because they have a lot of money and power, it seems like that's a much bigger group than it actually is. But Joker proved, because Joker was so successful, the media, uh, aside from the, the people responsible for the movie, the rest of the media tried to bury Joker. They said, oh, it's a violent movie. It's going to cause riots, this and that. They were scared to death. 
They were unable to stop that movie from making tons of money because all the rest of us who feel like we know what's best for ourselves saw the Joker and loved it. Okay. So it's still special in that way. Right, right. Okay, thank you for your recommendation and uh, enjoy everybody.